Hi, Shade. It's good to see you. Good morning, Mrs. Meeks. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Welcome, Welcome to CPMS. Thank yes, you. We're so excited to have you. So today we're going to be showcasing some of our electives that we offer at Cedar Park. Um, many of the electives that you're going to get to see are um, have a direct pathway into the high school. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a really great way for our kids to get the opportunity to experience um, something new in middle school that might even spark a passion moving into high school. So we're going to go take a look. That sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Hi, my name's Sadie, and today I'm taking you to our theater. Wow, I do see movie night theater. Sounds <laughs> exciting. Yes, in theater today they're going to be working on their tech theater unit, and they're going to be seeing how the lighting on stage affects the colors of like what the objects look like. Oh. Okay. We're doing this because we want to see how lighting affects like theater and stuff, like how lighting sets the mood, like different colors. My favorite thing is that it's very active and very interactive, and that I don't just have to sit around. I, I don't like sitting around. Hey Isabella, that was really fun in the theater room. Where are you taking me to next? Next we're going to see multimedia. Some students will be working in groups to film some projects and other students will be filming LeopardCast. It introduces them to broadcasting at the high school. We also love LeopardCast because it connects the student body with some school spirit. It is Tuesday, October 29th. And, and LeopardCast Leopard starts, starts now. now. What do you love most about um, multimedia? I love recording segments and other funny things like PSAs. It just gives you so much more life if you're going to go for like a news station or trying to be on screen. Hi, Tatiana. Hi. Please tell me more about what we're going to see with the dance cadets. Today in class, students are going to be working on their technique. This class is led by Abby Solomon as captain of the Crimson Cadets here at Cedar Park Middle School. Be sure to pay attention to how the cadets communicate with each other and give feedback to each other. And this class is led by all student leaders. Out one, prep on three, turn five, six, close. Watching the practice, I noticed that the captain was leading the students and they were following her instructions and she had them getting pairs and how do we get to this point where the students are taking ownership of this learning? And I really primarily give them the freedom to um, work together um, as an officer group to lead the team. Um, they've already been working on those fundamental exercises and so they already know the expectations and what proper technique should look like. That's the hope is they're getting ready for real life where they can go on into high school or beyond and use those skills in other facets of their lifetime. How does it feel to you giving up that control if it feels that way to the students and just watching them? You know, uh, we build a lot of rapport with each other and so I feel really confident in the students' abilities to lead. I think it's great for me as an educator to step back and really give the student that opportunity to lead that instead of just always being teacher-centered instruction. Hi Haley. Hi. So who gets to participate in STEM? Sixth graders. And what have they been working on? They just finished up their biomedical engineering unit where they created a design for kids with cerebral palsy to grab their water bottle independently. It's basically like an ad to show and say like, here's our product and what you should do to buy it. So you're getting the experience of designing a product, building a prototype, and then how to get it to the market, to the marketing aspect of things. That's really wonderful. Shade, thank you so much for visiting Cedar Park Middle School. It was great to have you here today. Thanks for having me. I really, really enjoyed seeing the different aspects of student ownership of learning. We have been really focused on building those graduate profile attributes within our students and also within the electives. I'm glad that you were able to see that in action today. Yeah, it's really helpful for them to have a sneak peek into high school before exactly. they get there. Right. The same way that it would be nice for elementary students to get a sneak peek before they get into middle school. So as a leopard, you know the drill. Go, Go Leopards! Leopards!